Our solar system might not seem all that unusual, but in the grand cosmic scheme of things, it's actually quite unique. While our sun stands alone, most other stars out there have a buddy or two. Imagine what our sky would look like if we had more than one sun, or how our planets would need to dance in their orbits. Now picture a scenario where Earth had not one, but three or four suns. Believe it or not, some planetary systems work that way, and it can get a bit mind-bending when you consider how those planets move. In this Factopia list show, we're going to dive into these fascinating multi-star systems, discover how planets can exist in them, and learn how scientists even detect them in the first place. Our solar system, with its single sun, isn't all that different from some two-star systems. In a two-star system, a planet like Earth orbits around a common point shared by two stars, forming what we call a binary. These stars twirl around each other like best friends in a meadow, holding hands and spinning about, albeit with stretchy arms, so they're not always at the same distance from each other. A planet can merrily circle this binary in what's called a circumbinary orbit. Take Bebop 1, for example. Thanks to the discoveries made using three separate telescopes, astronomers have learned that it has not one, but two gas giant planets in circular orbits around two stars. Despite the cosmic ballet of bodies, it all works thanks to gravity. The stars are much closer to each other than they are to the planets. The inner planet orbits the binary every 95.2 days, while the stars whirl around each other in just 14.6 days. Picture it, a planet with two suns, like Tatooine in Star Wars. Bebop-1 is an exciting system for researchers and could soon be a target for the Webb Telescope. It has the potential to unravel the mysteries of circumbinary planets and, as the researchers humorously suggest, provide a new hope for understanding them. Now, adding just one more star, transitioning from a binary to a trinary system, might not sound like a big deal, but it can make things incredibly complex. The addition of that third star can lead to scenarios where one star gets ejected from the system, or the entire system collapses. And then there's the matter of planets. While it's theoretically possible to have a trinary system like Bebop-1 with planets orbiting far from the star's complicated dance, there are even more fascinating arrangements. For example, a planet can orbit just one of the stars, which in turn is in a distant relationship with a binary. And guess what? Our cosmic neighbor, the Alpha Centauri system, has exactly this arrangement. Mars. If you stood on one of these planets, your daytime sky would be a tad redder and less bright than what we're used to, thanks to the dimness of the star. So our universe is full of captivating surprises. Now, when we look at Alpha Centauri A and B, it's a little disheartening because, from a space tourist's perspective, they'd be nothing more than two faint dots amidst a vast sea of stars. But sometimes, in the cosmic playground, you have to make certain sacrifices to squeeze three whole stars into one planetary system. While binary and trinary systems are somewhat common, those with four stars are a rarity. So you might assume that only seasoned researchers with countless publications to their name could spot a planet in such a system. However, the first four-star planetary system was not discovered by seasoned professionals, but rather by a group of passionate amateurs. Back in 2012, the scientific community was aware of a binary star system with the not-so-melodic catalog named KIIC 4862625. Little did they know that this system was about to be redefined, thanks to a dedicated group of citizen scientists who lacked formal backgrounds in physics or space science. These volunteers spent their free time combing through data collected by NASA's Kepler and TESS missions simply because they found it cool. It was all part of a project called Planet Hunters, open for anyone interested in sifting through this publicly available data with hopes of discovering new exoplanets. Here's how it worked. Each volunteer was randomly assigned a small chunk of data from the missions, 
containing information on over 300,000 stars. Their task was simple yet critical. Draw a box around any signs of a little dip in a star's brightness. You see, sometimes these dips indicate a planet passing in front of its star, briefly blocking some of the star's light from reaching us. While computer programs could handle some of this work, when you have more than one star in close proximity, like in a binary system, the signal from the planet can get lost amidst the dips caused by the stars blocking each other's light. This is where the human eye shines because it can catch the details that algorithms might overlook. And that's precisely what happened with KIC 4862625. These citizen scientists noticed something intriguing, prompting them to dig deeper. They unearthed another binary system of stars that had been hiding in plain sight. The result was a four-star system, and as far as NASA knows, the first four-star system with a planet. Picture it, a binary of stars revolving around each other, with a planet orbiting them both, and another binary system encircling the entire celestial dance. If you were gazing at the sky from this unique four-star planet, you'd likely see two suns and one brilliantly shining star that's actually two stars nestled closely together. It's like how, from Earth, you can look up at the Big Dipper and not realize that some of those stars are part of multi-star systems. Kudos to these citizen scientists for unveiling such fascinating systems. Yes, it's essential for astrophysicists to officially confirm their findings, but the groundbreaking discovery could have been made by anyone, maybe even your neighbor or the person operating the camera for this Factopia video. Since this discovery, researchers have started to recognize that four-star systems are more prevalent than they previously thought. It raises the intriguing question, could there be planets in systems with five or more stars? Well, as of this recording, it's still speculative. Astronomers have come across systems with five, six, and possibly even seven stars, and chances are there are more lurking out there in the cosmos. We understand that stars have a knack for coming together in these massive gatherings, but right now, we lack concrete evidence of a planet coexisting within such a complex celestial family. Finding all the stars in a crowded system is challenging enough. For instance, in the five-star system with a name too tricky to pronounce, researchers missed the fifth star for over a year. Initially, they reported two binary systems within a double-eclipsing four-star system. They identified the dimmer binary first because they initially mistook the brighter one for a mere twinkle reflecting off one of the other stars. But there was something about this system that prompted further investigation. Even after they thought it was a four-star system, they kept a watchful eye on it because the two stars in one of the binary pairs spun around each other faster than in any known four-star system. Now, back to our cosmic exploration. Remember that five-star system where the fifth star went missing for a while? Well, when another team of researchers claimed to have found a fifth star, one cruising at the same velocity as the others, the original team saw eye to eye and agreed it's most likely a package deal. Who knows, maybe one day astronomers will stumble upon a planet tucked away in that cosmic package. Then again, maybe they won't. But while we're setting our sights on the stars, let's indulge in some wonderment about six-star systems that could theoretically host planets. One such six-star system that has recently entered the spotlight is known as TYC 7037891. It's a remarkable assembly of three binary star pairs, each of which shares similar characteristics in terms of mass, size, and temperature. Two of these binaries revolve around each other in a celestial dance, and then all four engage in an even more elaborate cosmic waltz with the third binary. Each binary exhibits relatively short orbital periods measured in mere days, indicating that they're tightly paired. However, the orbits of the binaries around each other are significantly larger, affording them ample space to pirouette through the cosmic ballet gracefully. 
They're also distant sufficiently apart that each binary behaves as a single source of gravity, which simplifies the physics considerably. It's worth noting that while there could be other types of six-star systems in the universe, such as two sets of triplets, they are less likely to be discovered. This is because the third star in each triplet would have to orbit much farther away, making systems like TYC 7037891, consisting of a triplet of binaries, more common in our search. Since these larger and more complex systems are both elusive to locate and challenging to maintain, it's not entirely surprising that we haven't come across any planets within them thus far. Nevertheless, in the vastness of space, the key is persistence. A few more years of diligent searching may well lead to the unveiling of new cosmic treasures, like planets hidden within these intricate stellar arrangements, but for us here on Earth, our solar system with its single reliable star works just fine. One thing that all of these exceptional solar systems share is the brilliance of their stars, illuminating the marvels of our universe. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey.